Daytime baseball here on MLB Network. A good one on tap for you this afternoon between the Sacramento River Cats and the Reno Aces. Here's Billy Hamilton standing in, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Set to deliver on two and one. Right on the corner, two and two. Blue skies forecasted this afternoon, 58 degrees here at first pitch. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. Digging in, Abiatel Avellino. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. Fastball close, but he didn't get it two and one. High in the air out to center field. Thomas is there now and he has it to God. Digging in, Yomer Sanchez. He'll swing it from the left side Yomer. right here. Okay. Now a foul tip that's held onto at the plate and the count moves to one and two now. Only one strike away from throwing a very strong first inning to begin the ball game. He looks sharp. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Young has got it, and the side is retired. Striding into the box, Alec Thomas. it lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And it's fouled away. The next three, two. Here's at the knees and called strike three. Now with the plate, Wyatt Matheson. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. One and two now as that one's fouled off. One out, nobody on. And here's a ball hit in the air. But this will land untouched. The one two. He's taken high above the zone. Weakly hit towards first. Fielded cleanly. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. So coming to the plate, Seth Beer. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired. Second inning set to go. Chris Shaw the next to take a turn at the plate. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Outside in a full count three and two. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first down. Digging in, Jalen Davis. Two hits in 13 at-bats in the series so far. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Lofted in the air out toward right center. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. Around second. He's on his way to third. The relay, and he'll get in there safely. That is good. The first base that green. In now, Zach Green. And this one's high and tight, backing him up two and one. Three and one now. No score here, but a potential run is 90 feet away with one gone. Hit hard down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the gloves down the line. 
The run is in to score, and they take an early 1 0 lead. Got it, got it. The third base Zach Houchins. At the plate now, Zach Houchins. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Softly hit to short, right to him. Throw in time at first for out number two. Now to the plate, Taylor Heineman. He's had 14 at bats in the series, picking up four base hits. Heineman. Ready with the 1 1. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Fastball just inside. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Some pitchers fall into the trap of getting in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. One and one. Here it is. Hey. One, two is an off speed pitch. No That's dice. It's two and two. Wow. Really close pitch on 0 oh and 2. That just meant a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Digging into the batter's box next is John Hicks. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. Fouled off. The one two. Misses for the second ball. Still two and two. Guide into straightaway right. Davis is there and he has it for the out. Settling in now gives money to Moss. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Bases are empty, one man out. Hard hit ball to second. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So now to the plate, Andy Young struck him out. Stepping into the box, Dalton Varsho. He was hitless in yesterday's shutout loss, as were many of his teammates. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Frozen on strike three for the final out of the inning. to the top of the order now and in to hit next the speedy presence of Billy Hamilton and this one's up around the eyes two and one hit hard on the ground towards second he's got it throw to first in time and the leadoff man is gone to start the third into the box now Abiatel Avellino so far 0 for 1 with a fly out 1-1. One, one. Scooped up. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. So bases are empty here with two gone. And moving into the batter's box next will be Yomer Sanchez. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Now at the plate.
tonight, Camden Duzanak. Only one hit in 11 at bats for the series so far. And he fouls this one off. He'll try again, one, two. Nope, that's the ball. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And this is taken in for out number one. So here now is the pitcher, John Duplantier, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Maybe too much break on the slider, two and one. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher, but sometimes. The hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. Three and one to him now. Now a ball hit foul down the line in right and in amongst the fans. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And this is swung on and missed. His fifth strikeout already. And there are two gone in the inning. Now batting. Stepping up to the plate, Alec Thomas. First time up, he went down looking. You know, Matty, tough to go down looking right there, especially in a long at bat. I kind of tip my hat to the fact that he didn't go into uber swing mode. He battled. He just got locked up. Look for him to have another quality A-B. I think he's seeing the ball pretty darn big right now. Sean is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Now it'll be the four hole hitter Chris Shaw. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Hard on the ground towards short. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Digging in now Jalen Davis. He smacked a triple and later scored his first time around. hit the other way out toward right field there to handle it is Tomas and there are two away now stepping now into the box double Zach double. Green an RBI yeah. double is what he was credited Green. with his first time around and he's got to build off that last AB he battled usually when you battle you get in that swing mode a lot of pitches you'll swing at the rosin bag I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat let's see if we get more of the same right here Bases are empty here with two men out. And he struck him out. <laughs> Leading off the inning, Wyatt Matheson, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. The 1 1 home. This one's down to third. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other, one away. Coming to the plate now, Seth Beer. First time up, he went down looking. Yeah, Matty, and he was locked up by a good fastball for strike three last time. I'm interested to see if they attack him the same way. Come at him with hard velo late or snap something off in the dirt to see if they'll fish. So he got him swinging. Seth Beer goes down for route number two in the bottom half. Good change of speeds, but he lays off two and one. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. Three and one. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. Man, this guy's in a good groove right now. Seven straight retired. He's locked in. Fouled away. Another full count pitch home. Oh, he goes with the slider that time, and it's driven to deep right field. Into the box now. Here's Monty Tomas. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Oh, I love that pitch right there. Up and in. Jam. Sandwich. And it's fouled away. 
in tight with the slider two and two. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. Count full, three balls and two strikes. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Late Zach Houchins. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is going to win this one. Popped him up. He'll put this one away for the first out of the inning. Now in the box, Taylor Heineman reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. The 2-1. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off-speed pitches. But to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward. The 3-2 pitch. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Now the pitch. So a runner at first with one out now. And that'll bring up the pitcher, Andrew Suarez. Got it back in time there, and it's 2-1. and one. Great decision there to pull back. Step number one in getting a sacrifice bunt down, make sure you bunt a pitch that you can handle. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Bit of a surprise here as he's going to try to lay one down. Digging in the switch hitter, Billy Hamilton. He was a ground out victim last time up. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Right fielder is on the run. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Riding in once again, Andy Young, as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. The 2-1 home. Hit on the ground to third. And that's the first out. Standing in, Dalton Varsho comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. One out, nobody on. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw on to first, two gone. So striding in, Camden Duzanak. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Hit to first. He's right there. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Striding forward now, Abiatel Avellino. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Now the one and one pitch. Lifted in the air out to center field. Center fielder on the run. Oh, and a great diving catch for the first down. The batter number two. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Yomer Sanchez. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. Hit down the third baseline. And that's the second out. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Chris Shaw. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Way outside, nearly to the backstop, two and one. That's strike two on a well placed changeup around the knees. Here now the 2-2. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And that is through into right field for a single. Now back, right fielder, Jalen. Stepping in now, Jalen Davis. This is in the air out to straightaway center. 
And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. John Jay is going to come off the bench as he'll be asked to lead off the bottom of inning number six. Now a swing and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. And the pinch hitter is retired here, one away. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Alec Thomas. He flew out in his last at bat. The 1 1. Late square, and this is popped up. Throw not in time, and that'll go as a bunt single. The ball. The third baseman. Standing in now, Wyatt Matheson. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Throw over to first. In the dirt, and oh, he can't quite dig it out. Speed pitch misses here and he runs it to three and one. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by though as a hitter. And ooh, might have thought it was high, but it's a strike. Three and two now. And a slider that catches a lot of the plate that time, and it's sent out to deep left center field. And this one is gone. Plate, Seth Beer. Count is one and two now. Here it comes. And he swings and pops it foul behind the plate. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. So here's the cleanup hitter, John Hicks. It was a solo shot for him in his last at bat. And he misses two and one. Two out, nobody on. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Yosmani Tomas would be next if they can keep this inning alive. This is lifted out to left. Around first, digging for two. And that one skips up over the wall for a ground rule double. Right fielder. In now is Monty Tomas. Fastball too high. Ball four. Trevor Cahill will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the season so far. Andy Young will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Now batting. Hector. So Dalton. stepping in, Dalton Varsho. Varsho. The 2-2. Two -two. Hicks on third. Tomas at second. Young on at first with two down. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Hit out towards second. And he has delivered one of the biggest at bats of the afternoon as he cashes in with a base hit. And the second run is in. It's now a 5 1 game. Now that not four problem. To the plate now, Camden Duzanak. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. Justin Donatella will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Lucas Herbert is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. Number 37, Lucas 
Herbert. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Now batter. Ready for Perfect. another chance? Zach Houchins. 0 for 2 oh. on his line thus far. Two yeah. balls and a strike. Ground ball sent back up the middle, and that'll find its way into center field for a one out hit. Now back, Tyler Heineman. Into the box, Taylor Heineman. Into right field, that's a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Joe McCarthy will get the call to pinch hit here and he'll find he has a couple of runners aboard with only one out in the inning. McCarthy. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Here's the center fielder. He gets there and that's the second out. Billy Hamilton digging in now. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 1 1. Skied into very shallow right. And here's Tomas to make the catch, and that's the third out of the inning. For the traditional seven day Connor Menez gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Connor in now, number 37. He's newly entered into the ball game, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. Fouled off. The one-two. Two-and-two. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind you. And that misses ball four. That's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. Now the two one pitch. Had him fooled there as this is lifted in the air out to left center and shallow. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. At the plate now, Wyatt Matheson. Now one hit foul over to the right side as the count moves to one and two. From the stretch. Seventh inning here in a five to one ball game. Rounded up the first baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. From the stretch. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. At the plate, Seth Beer. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And the pitch is off the catcher's glove as it rolls away. So now two men in scoring position. Second and third here, one man out. Into the corner and slicing foul. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. The 2 2 is looked at and the count moves full. Definitely in a tough situation facing the three hitter. You could work around him and maybe walk him to load the bases, but that just sets up the cleanup guy with the bases loaded. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Digging in and looking for more, John Hicks. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Here's the 1 1. The men on third with two down. Oh, and a 
perfect location there as he catches the corner for strike two. Swing and a miss for strike three. Pulled the string on him that time, and the inning is over. Now at the plate, Abiatel Avellino. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. The one-two. And this ball is popped up, drifting back behind the mound. And there's out number one. Into the now box back. now, Yomer Sanchez. He could really Yomer use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. And it's up to a 3 2 full count now. He's going to step out of the box, adjust his batting gloves, and pray he gets the exact same pitch as that one. Because if it comes again, we like to refer to that one in the biz as a cement mixer. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. And he's in there at third with a one out triple. Now that is number 83. So now to the plate, Chris Shaw. All even now, two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. Struck him out. And now they'll likely need a base hit to get that runner home from third. The right field. Striding in, Jalen Davis. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Here's the 1-1. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. Ball three. Zach Green would be next. Rounder down the line at third, but a foul ball, and it's full now at three and two. Now the payoff pitch home gets him looking strike three. Here's Yasmani Tomas, and he'll start out the bottom of the eighth inning. One and two pitch. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. And he fouls this one off. Now another 2-2. Two, two. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Sanchez is there. Throw on to first in time, one away. Ready once again, Andy Young. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Heading out towards shallow right. Davis in a few steps as he takes it, two down. Kevin Crone will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fouled away. And he lays off ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. Now batting, Camden Duzanet. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. I'll tell you, it's a helpless feeling for a manager or a pitching coach when your pitchers are having a really hard time throwing strikes. What are you supposed to do other than keep trying new guys until someone starts attacking the zone? Good battle. Count remains full. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Trevor Gott enters here looking to get the final out before the ninth inning. 
Lucas Herbert will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball two and one. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Swing and a miss much too early, and that makes it a full count. Yeah, you take a look at that two-seamer right there. Sinker had nasty downward plane on that ball. That thing must have gone down at least six inches. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the now first back. man he faces. The better fielder. Now All back right. to the top of the lineup. Stepping Go in, back. Alec Thomas. Two hits in four oh, attempts yeah. to this point. Two balls and a strike now. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. A swing and a miss there. Two and two. And it's fouled away. A two-two one more time. It's a fastball that misses. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. Bases are loaded here. Two down. On the eighth pitch of the at-bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. Jimmy Scherfe comes on from the pen hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Into the box, Zach Green. He's working on a one for three thus far. Now the 2-1. Is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike two. And he jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. And he's going to make the catch on the warning track. A fine running play there for the first down. So digging in now, Zach Houchins. He singled his last time up. Lays off two and two now. Hit back toward the mound. And that is through into center field for a one out single. Now that the catcher, Tyler. Standing in now, Taylor Heineman. Now a swing and a fly ball. Right fielder is on the run. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Austin Slater will look for some two-out magic here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. Two out with a man at first. This is foul right side. Now what's left of this crowd this afternoon gets to their feet. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. In there, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now that the cover fielder, Billy. Into the box now, Billy Hamilton. Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Throw on to second for the force, and the ball game is over. Hey, it always feels good to win a baseball game, but when you can win one at home in front of your home crowd, all those fans cheering, this is a good win for this team. Six to one, the final tally today. The Reno Aces wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. John Dupontier earns his first win of the season. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and the rest of our crew. This is Matt Vaskersian, and you've been watching a presentation of MLB Network. See you next time.
the River Cats. One run, eight hits, no errors. They left nine runners on base. Time of the ball game, 3:35. 